Hello and welcome to my next series of game creation. I have been thinking of a fast and easy way to create animated sprites. And one solution to that is using clay. With a little bit of practice you can model something within a couple of minutes. This helicopter took about five minutes on first try. I used Google image search to search for helicopters and uh, found one toy helicopter that I copied to a clay figure. Now Frank, the helicopter driver, is getting a bit, little bit sick of all the jumping, so uh, I think he wants to fly away. And here he goes. To make the animation frames I use Irfamview and GIMP. GIMP is an open source image manipulation program and is hosted on SourceForge. So I clicked on GIMP.org. You should always check that the file is hosted on SourceForge. Uh, you can copy link location and then paste and you see SourceForge.net. And you can find Irfamview on Freeware files. I think you can find uh, GIMP here also. I found it important to have a black background and using white clay for the modeling. I have tried different background colors but the colors will blend in into the clay and this will make it harder to make the selection of just the object. So it's easy to select a white object or a white model. For the white surface I use a photo taken with a flash. So if you take a photo with flash very near the model you will get uh, this result. So I take two photos for each frame. One without flash and one with flash. And when you use GIMP you must select the correct layer. So here is the flash layer and then we can select. So it is pretty much perfect on the first try but uh, it's missing something here. So you can click and then drag it until you see that it selects the missing area. You don't need to be perfect when you select the model. But uh, if you want to be perfect you can select this toggle quick mask. And as you see here pretty much everything is selected. After that you go to the first layer and you get your selection. Then you select copy and paste. And select the create new layer. And then we hide the first layer. Another thing we need to do is select layer to image size and I will show you why. The selection will be this area and if we choose the next frame the selection width will decrease and this will make the model move to the left a little bit. It is important to have the model stay in a constant position Cropping the images will not take long time at all. When you are finished cutting out the frames it should look something like this. You then select each frame, choose copy and then you open Irfam View, paste the image and you choose save as. It should look something like this. I used GIF as the image format. But uh, Construct can't read GIF, 
and I think that is because it is not open source. PNG, I think that is open source, and it's and it is important to save transparent color. So when you click save, you can click on the black area to choose the transparent color. When you are done saving all the frames, you open Air from you again, choose file and choose batch conversion. Make sure you select PNG output format and then you click advanced. You will have to figure out the X pos and Y pos width and height. Open another editor. Uh, I got a new ID um, when I'm recording right now. Uh, you can use uh, a program called Stickies to measure the optimal selection. The optimal selection is a selection that can be used on all frames without anything on the model sticking out outside the selection. So you create a new sticky and you select topmost so it stays on top and then you try to form it so it cover the model exactly. And then you select next frame, next frame, and then you have to move it out a little bit, next frame, move it out, next frame, and move it down a little bit. And now you have the optimal rectangle to select. And now you can draw a selection to fit the stickies as best as you can. I think you can even draw under the sticky. Close the sticky and you have the selection here. We can increase the height a little bit. Now we move this a little bit up so we can see the title while we configure the properties. So the X and Y is 472 and 131. We select the width and height. We choose the resize option and set the new size to 20% of the original. And if everything is correct, we click the OK button. The images will be placed here. Before we start the batch, we have to all add all images. And then we click Start Batch. Select the transparent area on each frame. No errors, no warnings. And this is all the images.